the death of Václav Havel is a sad moment, obviously, the loss of a great man, a moment felt by anybody who cares about human rights anywhere in the world. But it's also a good moment to pay tribute to his inspiring legacy and what an inspiring man he was with extraordinary achievements for his own country, of course, but also which rippled around the world in the years to come. He always emphasised that every single individual can and does make a difference. We were privileged that he talked to us earlier this year on the occasion of Amnesty International's 50th anniversary about some of those themes. I think it's important to everyone of us and those who are talking about it že jedinec nic nezmůže, v podstatě se uchylují jenom k vymluvám. Václav Havel was repeatedly jailed for his courageous defiance of the lawless authorities. He was, of course, an Amnesty International prisoner of conscience. When I first met him, he was under round-the-clock secret police surveillance, but as we sat drinking beer in his favourite restaurant down by the river Vltava in Prague, he said, this country is a pressure cooker, but nobody knows when it will explode. And it was just three weeks later. The Velvet Revolution of Wenceslas Square. <laughs> huge crowds on Wenceslas Square, demanding rights, demanding change, and of course, very soon calling for Václav Havel to be the country's president. And still the applause continued as Havel, his nervousness apparently under control, walked out onto the balcony of the inner courtyard. Amnesty International made Václav Havel the very first Amnesty Ambassador of Conscience in 2003 and he continued to play an important role in speaking up for human rights around the world, right up until his death. The world will miss him terribly, but he cannot and will not be forgotten.